Welcome back Toy Fans to episode 204 of Ronald's Reviews. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Mask Hurricane. Cue the match. Welcome back everyone. Now like I said in the intro, today we are going to take a look at a mask toy that I've not actually covered yet on the channel. Now looking back on my channel, it feels like a while since I've done any kind of mask content. And when I was looking back at the videos, I realized that one vehicle I've not covered yet is the Mask Hurricane, and it is an amazing vehicle. So today, we're gonna to write that wrong. So sit back, relax, grab ourselves a cuppa, and let's go take a look at the 1986 Kenner Mask Hurricane. Give me the best agents for this mission. Personnel selected. Luke Reynolds, toy fan and mask collector. Vehicle code name, Fire Spray. And there we go, folks. So here is the 1986 Kenner Mask Hurricane, and one absolutely awesome vehicle it is. I've got to admit, this is one of my favourites. Now, I probably say that about every mask vehicle that I show because I love the toy line, and I think I've got, like, ten favourites, which I guess is a bit strange to say because you should be only be able to have one favourite, but I love this vehicle. I just love the design. I love the colour. I mean, that sort of turquoise, sort of bluey green. I absolutely love it. I think it works so well with this vehicle. But let's focus on the driver to start with. So the driver is Hondo McLean. So let's just take a look at him. There he is. So that is Hondo McLean, nicknamed Striker. Fantastic looking figure. And Hondo came with Blaster 2 mask. And Blaster 2's ability was it could fire out supersonic rays. It was a very, very cool looking mask. Not easy to get and, and can be quite expensive if you try and buy it on its own. But yeah, Honda McLean is a great character. Um, occupation was a school teacher, would you believe? History, I think, was uh, his job to be more specific. But yeah, absolutely love this guy. But let's focus on the vehicle. And what I always found strange, though, about Hondo McLean was, and I always found this odd as a kid, when you actually watch the intro, there's a section of the intro where it shows you a few of the characters on screen, and Hondo appears in his firecracker outfit, but with his Blaster 2 Hurricane mask. And I always found that a little bit confusing about the intro, but let's take a look at the vehicle. Okay, so here is Hurricane, folks, and this like I said, is an absolutely awesome looking vehicle. One of my favourites, and I was very, very lucky to get this on eBay for a great price. Um, and what I love about Mask is a lot of the vehicles, not all of them, but a lot of them are what you would call real world vehicles. So vehicles that we actually had in real life. And Hurricane is no exception. So this is a 57 Chevy Bel Air. And I just think it looks awesome. The design is fantastic. I mean, the colour, like I said earlier, with that sort of petrally, almost bluey green, I think looks amazing. But what stands out about this vehicle is all those lovely flames all down the side, all across the bonnet, on the roof. It just looks amazing. Now, uh, we didn't actually see Hurricane in the Mask cartoon until episode 29. And in that episode, Mars Mayhem was using a gravity gun or a ray gun. And what it did was it enhanced gravity and actually crushed Firecracker in that episode. And at the end of the episode, Hondo was presented with a new vehicle, which was Hurricane. Just thought you'd like to see what you'll be driving on your next mission. Meet Night Stalker. I don't know what to say. However, you may have noticed in that clip, when it's presented to him, it's presented to him as Night Stalker. Now, uh, Hurricane was originally named Night Stalker, but they had to change the name later on because basically Mattel's legal team got in touch with Kenner and basically said, look, we've got the rights to Night Stalker, you can't use it. Because if you recall, uh, Skeletor's horse was called Night Stalker, so they had to change the name to Hurricane. But on a similar vein, Firefly, the vehicle, uh, was originally called Dragonfly. Uh, and Hasbro also got in touch with Kenner over that one as well, uh, because obviously they had the G.I. Joe Dragonfly. So Dragonfly was then renamed Firefly. So some of you may know that, some of you may not. But quite an interesting fact. I always think that's really good to know. But like I said, I just love this vehicle. It's absolutely awesome. And I think so recognisable. When you see this vehicle, you know what it is. And you can't mistake it with anything else. Like a lot of the mask vehicles back in the day, this also has nice rubber tyres. 
these are in good condition they're not cracking and i don't know if you can see it on camera but they are labeled with goodyear as well so again very very cool but i loved hurricane but hurricane used to turn into what was called a mobile command center so let's do that so this is the new hurricane Ooh glad it's on our side hondo tracker here assemble masks intruder closing in it's the venom stinger look out <laughs> Each sold separately with a figure. Firefly, hidden blue sky. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. I'm getting out of here. Mask, Hurricane, Firefly, and Stinger. Each sold separately. New from Kim. And there we go, folks. There is Hurricane transformed in all its glory. And I've got to admit, as awesome as it does look, as a kid, I always thought this was probably one of the more peculiar transformations. So if you twist the sort of roof or the windows here, the base pops up so to reveal a six tire wheelbase i'm assuming for more stability or for going off-road so that pops up we've got the front here that lifts if you can just see that that comes up there and that is meant to be a night vision scanner the headlights pop out they are infrared blasters and i was always curious to what this was when i was a kid but if you read the back of the box this is described as a gale force wind howitzer whatever that is i don't know but i still think it looks awesome and it is i misspoke earlier this is referred to as a field command post so i'm not quite sure what that is in vehicle form but you can see hondo in the top there he is manning the laser and then at the back if you can just see that we've got a buzzsaw that pops out and we've got a spare tire that fires off as a landmine. I'm a little bit reluctant to do that because I've got a history of firing things off in videos and losing them. But if you just press this little piece of bumper down here, that should fire off. I don't know if I can do it because that's on a spring. So if I push it down, it'll probably just squash the vehicle. But let me just see if I can do that. Get ready, folks. This could go anywhere. There we go. Whoa. Oh, no, I can see that. That's fine. I haven't lost it. I've got it. Let's just go grab it. One second. Oh, there we go, folks. The tire is back in situ. But like I said, it's a little bit of a peculiar transformation, but I still love it. And I still think it looks great in transformation mode. I do think it looks more attractive in its vehicle mode, but it's just such an awesome vehicle. And I just think, again, a must have if you're a mass collector, it's got to be a must have in anyone's collection so so this is the 1986 hurricane and if you're going to buy one of these this is just my opinion don't get me wrong you'll see some inflated prices on ebay and other people will come and tell you it's worth more than that for me to buy one of these you shouldn't be paying more if it's loose without a box you should be paying more than maybe 70 pounds for this that's what i feel you should be paying some people will tell you more personally i don't think you should be paying any more than that things to look out for though if you're looking at buying hurricane so the spring mechanism when you twist the roof and it pops up onto its six wheel base sometimes that spring goes and it ends up all a bit floppy and just drops back down not often but look out for that it does happen but a lot of the time the chrome is gone i'm very lucky my my chrome is really good but look out for this front piece and obviously the headlights over the years they get pulled and pushed with fingers so obviously the chrome wears so just make sure the chrome is good if you're looking for that this gun is often missing at the top the laser is often missing and not always easy to find on their own so look out for that but the most common one is the spare wheel at the back that fires out and acts as a landmine that is often missing and if you're tempted to buy a hurricane without that wheel just think carefully because to get that wheel on its own not always easy to find and quite expensive because if people know you need it they're looking at 25 to 30 pounds just for that on its own so again, if you're looking to buy an incomplete hurricane and do it over time, just be aware of that. But yeah, there we go. Absolutely awesome vehicle and I'm so happy to have it in my mass collection. So yeah, there we go, folks. That is the 1986 Kenner Hurricane. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and as I always say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you're one of my existing viewers and existing subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. I really do appreciate it. I don't say that lightly. I know I say it at the end of every video, but I really do mean it. Uh, if you feel like leaving a like, please do so. It really does help the channel. But leave a comment. I try to get back to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. I'll see you next time, everyone.